What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So today we're here talking about the treasure map Sugo Fest. Now I know that we just had the Kaido versus Big Mom Sugo Fest. I know not a lot of people are going to be hell-bent on spending more gems, but this treasure map is quite significant because it does start introducing these treasure map rare recruits that are actually like really good units. Now, you know, we've had treasure map units in the past. Some of them have been pretty good. A lot of them are really bad though. Like obviously they have effects where it's like if you're in a treasure map, you know, do this effect and then you basically get nothing outside of a treasure map. Well, that's about to change with these units, which I'm really, really excited to talk to you guys about today. Um, not only are we going to talk about these units here, we'll break them down. We'll also have a look at the Sugarfest steps. And there's also the Arena unit has already been data downloaded as well. So there is the Arena unit that we need to have a look at, um, which is essentially the next Colosseum unit. So that is going to be here in this video today. So without further ado, let's jump into the step breakdown. So the first multi is going to be discounted at 30 Rainbow Gems. I mean... I mean, that's cool and all, but where was the 30 gem discount on the Kaido vs. Big Mom Sugo Fest Bandai? Where was it, huh? Where was it? Either way, uh, the second multi is a guaranteed legend or a rate boosted character. Something to note is that you can see right in the background there, Kaido vs. Big Mom is actually boosted on part one of the Treasure Map Sugo Fest, which did not happen on Japan's Sugo Fest. So I think a lot of people, you know, might get a little bit lucky and we'll see what happens because technically speaking their rates to get that unit is going to be significantly higher on the treasure map sugar fest than on their debut which is crazy to think about right i mean i can already tell you guys right now i i i, I bet you i'm gonna get kaido versus big mom on my treasure map sugar fest pulls because i'll be doing a couple multis but i'm not going too crazy the third multi is going to be the discount five star dobon or who is a is, a is a character that's not really that important but he is the lowest point booster rare recruit character from this treasure map sugar fest the fourth multi is a one gem multi. Again, where was the one gem multi on the Kaido versus Big Mom Sugo Fest Bandai? Come on, where was it? Seriously, where was it? Fifth multi is another guaranteed legend step. The sixth multi is a legend or a rate boosted character. And then the seventh multi is five star Luffy Taro or five star Old Man Hio. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Luffy Taro is the highest point booster. Hiogora is the second highest. And then Dobon is the lowest of those three point boosters. But unfortunately, if for those people that really wanted to go hard on this Treasure Map Sugo Fest to get these units, because I know some people are like that, because these units are really good, you do not get all of them guaranteed. This is the last step in this Sugo Fest that gives you one of those units. So that's a little bit of a downside. So you have to kind of get lucky to get the other one, which I'm not really a big fan of. The eighth multi is another one gem multi. The ninth multi is a guaranteed legend. And the 10th multi, again, is a legend or a rate boosted character. I'm not really a big fan of those legend or rate boost steps. Not a big fan of them at all. Because, I mean, if you're really looking for reds, it's hard to get a, a red off of those. And then if you're looking for a, a specific rate boosted unit, again, the rate boosted list could be like 10 units long. So getting a specific one can be quite hard. So that's that. That's the breakdown of the Sugo Fest. It's not the worst treasure map Sugo Fest, Sugo Fest structure we've had but it's not the best either that is for damn sure um let's go ahead and start talking about these units right um i suppose a lot of people want to know when this is going live so this is actually going to be going live on april 7th at 1900 pst time um and i believe the official sugo fest or the official treasure map sorry will start on the 10th of april i believe that's when it is it's either the 9th or the 10th of april is when it will begin and of course when we get more information about the rate boosted units and the, the, the point boosters i'll be bringing you guys a preparation video about this uh this upcoming treasure map okay so let's go ahead and jump into the breakdown of these brand new characters so you can see that basil hawkins is boosted on this sugo fest and kaido versus big mom is also on this sugo fest as well and then this is the first of the three units we can talk about so this is dobon he is i think is a strength powerhouse something strength powerhouse slasher okay didn't realize it was a slasher captain effect is bad it's a 1.5 times attack booster slashes most of these units still to this day have terrible captain effects but obviously they're a lot better i mean this specific unit the lowest point booster isn't that important his special is still kind of mid it reduces the chain debuffs chain lock chain coefficient reduction all by three turns and it gives you a 2.75 chain lock for one turn i mean it's not the worst special in the world we can admit that but it's nowhere near the best either it's a pretty mid special ability across the board um what is the cooldown 10 turns i mean that's that's relatively acceptable powerhouse slasher nothing too important to talk about here he's the lowest point booster so he should be like what a 1.75 point booster for global yeah it is what it is but now we have heal goro which heal goro first unit for him in the game which is exciting heal goro is an int fighter cerebral with a captain effect that's pretty forgettable but on a 13 turn cooldown reduces damage threshold by five turns 
attack down also by five turns and then boost all your crew slot effects by 1.75 times for one turn 2.25 times instead if you're in a treasure map so this is what i'm saying like this special is actually going to see play outside of treasure map because not only do you get those amazing pieces of utility but you also get an orb boost on top of that that's a phenomenal special ability from this unit man really really good uh i love the name of the special too really nice so i love the artwork too just everything about this unit you know is, is, is awesome obviously the captain effect sucks but you're not using a treasure map point booster for his captain effect now another thing that we have to talk about real quick i mean there's his little uh, sprite in the uh in pirate rumble of course but another thing that is quite important about these higher point boosters is their support effects are amazing so his support effect only attach attaches to monkey d luffy which is fine because i mean luffy just keeps getting better and better supports as time goes on but have a look at this whenever the unit uses their special it reduces attack down by two and reduces enemies damage threshold by two as well so now luffy gets this amazing support to just give you attack down and threshold removal whenever you launch the special like how good is that dude such a powerful support effect that is like a hundred percent going to see play in some fashion so that's awesome now we do have one other unit here which is luffy tower of course he is the highest point booster the the one you definitely want to get your hands on so luffy tower is a strength fighter powerhouse i like to see another powerhouse luffy um this luffy has a captain effect that again is also really forgettable you're not using him for his captain effect 1.5 times to fighters but on a 12 turn cooldown reduces one enemy's health by 20 percent and it will also go ahead and reduce bind by three and then gives your strength and int characters a 1.75 color affinity boost for three turns and if you're in a treasure map it's a 2.25 times color affinity boost so at least he is a damage dealing special as well so you can have some pretty good supports on him plus it's a luffy character so once again we already have established that luffy has amazing supports in the game so yeah this unit while he's nowhere near as good as hiogoro as a crew member i think hiogoro is definitely a much better unit in general but you gotta remember he also has a support effect which will go ahead and only attach to eustace kid for those who don't know eustace kid is actually the treasure map character that we're going to be farming for in this treasure map unfortunately treasure map kid is a pretty bad unit but at least this can support like legend kid for example uh kizuna kid Colosseum kid etc let's have a look and see what it does so it says once per quest if the supported character does a damage dealing or a percent cut special reduces bind paralysis and despair by two turns that is very reminiscent of the effect of like corazon or um v1 rayleigh but of course it doesn't activate when you get inflicted with it it only activates when you use a damage dealing or a health cut special which is both a good and a bad thing so you can proc it when you need it but it does require you on using the kid's special ability which is a little bit of a downside but even still this is going to be a nice just boost for eustace kid because kid doesn't have the best units in the game but a couple of them are definitely really useful and if you ever wanted to use legend kid for content this is going to help him out significantly um, he does actually have a couple of crewmate effects, some stat boosts, and if he has a recovery slot, uh, you hit a perfect, you keep it. So it's actually really good if you're running like uh, versus Big Mom, for example, because every time you hit a perfect, you not only consume the recovery slot, but with Luffy on your team, you actually keep it. So that's pretty good. He does have the hunger debuff removal as well. He reduces it by two at max level, reduces by two at level four as well. So honestly not terrible actually a pretty good unit across the board there so both luffy tower and hiogoro are definitely really powerful treasure map units and this is what we're going to see moving forward these treasure map units not only have amazing specials that can work in and out of treasure map but also have amazing supports that also can be used in a lot of content which is very exciting so now that we've gone through that i just want to quickly touch up on extra island really quick because we have the arena which is the newly debuted coliseum style event um we don't have coliseums anymore per se um they're just called the arenas and this is the first of the arena characters that we are going to be getting which is kamazo and kamazo as you can see here, he has his own farmable um, skulls and stuff it essentially is a coliseum but there's no like mini boss fights before it but uh, we can go ahead and have a look at what he does and break down his abilities and stuff. Um, this unit is is not a unit that sees that much play on Japan, but he's still a pretty decent unit. And I would advise getting him maxed out because, of course, he's going to be nice for content moving forward. But his captain effect boosts dex characters by three when you have a matching slot, 2.5 otherwise. And then dex characters have recovery in tandem as matching. So not a really powerful captain effect. Special ability will go ahead and go ahead and cut 
the crew's HP by 20%. So it cuts your own health by 20%, but then it does 88 times the HP that you lost in typeless damage to all enemies. Reduces burn by four, reduces rainbow shield by four. If your captain's slot is a type slot when you launch the special, it gives you a two times orb boost for two turns. And if it's not a type slot, you get a 2.25 times orb boost for two turns. So, uh, because this is obviously Kamazo, and I mean, spoilers for those who have not been keeping up to date with the anime and the manga, this is killer. So, of course, it works very well with Kid. Um, Kid being like Legend Kid, for example, being a dex unit, and of course, he is centric around those bomb slots. You can use this guy with Kid to give you the, the massive orb boost, the 2.25 orb boost for multiple turns. Kid is a 2.5 attack boost for his dex typing. So this works very well with Kid, uh, quite obviously, and he's got great utility as well, removing burn and rainbow shield by four. Um, interesting that he cuts your own health and then does additional damage. I'm not really too sure if that's going to have any any uses. I mean, technically speaking, you can use that to get rid of the stun debuff as well. So I guess that would be one case where you could probably use it, as well as it's a damage dealing special. So any supports that uh, rely on a damage dealing special can be used with that too. So that's the breakdown of the of the brand new Rumble unit. Looks really really cool. And uh, another thing as well about this. Rumble unit is that there is going to be um, some chopper missions associated with it so it says that if you clear it one time on eight star difficulty you get five copies of the unit which is great and then also if you clear the 11 star difficulty you get five rainbow gems and you get two orbs for his limit break which is wicked right so you just get two of them for free and you get five gems for doing it so clear both difficulties you get a few copies you get gems you get some orbs definitely well worth it so that's the breakdown of all of the information that we have in this data download pretty exciting stuff moving forward I'm, re I'm really looking forward to the arena unit and i mean the treasure map it is what it is but we'll see what happens and i know that some people are definitely not going to have enough gems to pull at this point i mean obviously it goes without saying if you're a free-to-play player you should probably avoid these treasure map sugo fests but then again, you know, if it is going to be one of those banners where there's only 10 legends available, then Kaido versus Big Mom should technically have their highest rate on global on this banner compared to their already with, like withstanding banner right here. You know, part one and part two of their debut, which is so weird to me, man. I don't understand how they can make other Sugo Fest that are literally releasing around the same time have a higher rate to get that one unit compared to their debut. It legit makes no sense to me. It's really, really dumb. But despite that that's going to wrap up the video today really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure to hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but and that guys i'll see you guys within the next video